loads of little places like this little wild swimming spots at middle of nowhere it's great I'm literally just walking carrying me water and then when I come to uh, like rivers which is every couple of minutes just filling it up I'm not even purifying it this is proper um, fresh water and there's not even sheep anywhere great day as well today going up into this valley now stunning day though wasn't expecting this this is what hiking in Noidart feels like it's just endless sweeping valleys with nobody in them absolutely stunning round every corner don't get me wrong you do bump into the odd character but generally it's all mine all mine I've just spotted forest in the distance oh yes and the reason that is so symbolic is because for one thing that's where I'm heading tonight and also that kind of symbolises leaving Noidart, the, the last great wilderness even though I've got another day hiking tomorrow it's not actually in the Noidart region, it's just going down to Glenfinnan and that should be uh, that should be interesting as well but it's not like totally remote like this beautiful well this is the point where I leave the mountains and I start entering into the forest and you know what, I do love the mountains I'm in awe of mountains, just how small I am in comparison but wow, the forest the forest is home for me daddy's home everybody this is where it's happening, this is where I feel safe in a forest that's why I've got mountains and forests on my tattoo and the red V of St Helens Rugby League my two great passions, the wilderness and my rugby team and you know what, I've had all three of them within a week I went watching Saints before I came out here I've just had the mountains, I've now got the forest what a wonderful week loving it, great week this well that's my first view of Achuil however you pronounce it, Bothy um, I tell you what, it's in a gorgeous location. I do recognise it from uh, when Hayes Outdoors did the Cape Bath Trail because he camped just on the hill over to the right of it because there was people in and he just wanted to chill out on his own. Um, it's quite early in the day, it's only like three o'clock in the afternoon so what I might do is push on an hour past it. I'll go to it first, have a look in, get a video of it and then I think I'll push past it because you know, anything I do today comes off tomorrow. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's in a stunning location. It really is. And there might not be anyone in there tonight, but like I said, I'd, ra I'd rather be outside anyway because it's, it's better weather. It was chucking it down, fair enough. Right, I'm here. Bothy number five for this year, Achul. And a couple's just turned up. I've told them I'm not actually staying here, so I won't cramp the style. I'm going to show you inside quickly. So we've got this room here. And there's like a bit of a sleeping area up here. It's quite basic. And I think this is the premier accommodation by the look of it. Well, saying that. Got the fire fireplace. Right, wonderful. Now nah, they're all right. These Scottish midges, not bothering me one bit. If I get to out tonight in force, I've literally got two head nets on. But haha, I'm declaring victory because they can't get anywhere near me. I set up in there. Uh, in a forest about two miles past that bothy uh, which has cut two miles off my journey tomorrow um, because I've got a big climb tomorrow apparently and it's forecast thunder and lightning Ooh. 
So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to chill out here. Hope these veggies naff off after. Have a couple of whiskeys. And then uh, have a, a chilled night. All the best. Right, I'm on the last leg here uh, to Glenfin and I've got to cut right up this valley. It's been lovely, the weather, but it's closing in now. Uh, in front of me, I'll show you where I'm going. That way. Through that gap. Got to climb up there and then I think it's a really boggy drop down. That's just been really boggy as well. Uh, so I've not been filming it. Um, been a lot to do you knocking about though. But yeah, it's going all right. Slow and steady wins the race. Well, this cairn behind me signifies the f I've done the final climb on my little chip. Thank God for that. I've come up from that direction. It's been a long, boggy hike. Really hard going. I wasn't looking forward to it today, actually. And I can see why. It was, that was just hard work. And now I'm going that way. And then I'm dropping off the edge there down to Glenfinnan. And I'll camp within a mile of Glenfin and it forest so I can get me chained tomorrow. But yeah, what I've learnt on this trip is this distance I've done, uh, which was about 35 miles, that is enough for me now, nowadays, with my ageing bones. So like a three-day expedition is long enough. 10 mile a day is long enough. Gone are the days of doing 20 mile a day hikes. And also I need to totally rethink my gear because this rucksack absolute weighs a ton. I mean, it's an old military Bergen, 120 litres. It's, it's, it's full. You know, I mean, the Bergen alone weighs a ton. That's when it's empty. Even the, the fisherman blooming who brought me across on the boat was struggling picking it up. You know, so I'm going to have to be one of them people who start weighing your gear and, and, and totally rethink the whole what I'm what I'm doing, what I'm packing when I'm coming on stuff like this. Because that was hard. It was endurance. My legs have had a good workout, but getting too old for that. But yeah, that distance is okay. 10 mile a day. Just need to uh, get my kit sorted out. Well, I'm about two mile north of Glenfinnan, the finish of my trail. And this is the sixth bothy of the year. I said I'd visit six different ones. You know what? I didn't even know about this one. Because this obviously obviously isn't a mountain body association bother. Uh, I can't even pronounce that. But you can tell it's not an NBA one. Because look at this. I have never seen this before. It's got bloody lights in it. It's got electricity. It's even got a kettle. How mad's that? Uh, big fireplace here couple of sleeping platforms now you'd think it's only two mile away from where I'm finishing why don't I just stay in here tonight and the reason is I know it's going to be full of by the Germans or Americans and I've got nothing wrong nothing against them but I just want to be on my own you know I don't want to be dealing with people you know I've come to these places to escape people but it's a nice little spot and uh, bothy number six for the year. I've just woke up, it's the morning I'm going home. Just I'm just north of Glenfin and, and it absolutely chucked it down last night. And if I had put my tarp six feet to the right, I'd have been in a heap of trouble this morning. Look at the state of that. Oh, doesn't even bear thinking about. The famous Glen Finnan Viaduct. So for all you Harry Potter fans, this is the viaduct on one of the films. I've never seen Harry Potter, so I've not a clue. Loads of sad heads up there though, waiting. I presume the steam train's coming over soon. Because tourists come from all over the world to watch it come over. Hi. I've decided to join the Saddles. You know why, it's one of Scotland's greatest sights, this. So, uh, I might as well come up. It's coming over in a couple of minutes. So after seeing no one for days on end, there's now hundreds of people around here all waiting to see this train come over this viaduct. I'll have to watch the film after this. Okay, see you in a bit when it comes. Well, there it is. One of the finest sights in Scotland, apparently. So 
if you've ever seen Harry Potter, you'll know the uh, the reference to this. I've not a clue myself. It's very nice though. Well, that was great. Just great.